Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Star Wars Galaxies Emulator. Today, I had a request to go over how to install Star Wars Galaxies Restoration, because their installation process is a little more confusing than some of the other ones. Now we're going to basically follow their directions, minus one little twist. Uh, I already have a bunch of directories with Star Wars Galaxies in them, so we will be able to go in and cover the installation as documented, but you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit because I don't want to install this again. So let's get their topic up. And it's a little hard to read, so I'm not gonna bother putting it on the screen, but I'll read it to you. So the first thing you need to do is you need to install Star Wars Galaxies from the original discs. Now, there's one point that I disagree with on the forums where they post the directions, is they do tell you you can find a link to download the discs. Uh, I don't know if that was a mistake or not, because I don't actually see a link to download the discs. Maybe it was a misprint, um, but I would disagree with you being able to download them. Uh, they also state in their downloader that you should not download things from torrent sites, and you should definitely own the original discs. They're cheap enough to get on Amazon that you should, uh, should probably buy a copy uh, just to help with compliance with the emulator, if nothing else. But I'm not going to go on about that. That's not really the point of this video. The point of this video is how to get this darn thing installed and working. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up Star Wars Galaxies. I've already installed Star Wars Galaxies into a folder, and I've pulled that folder onto my desktop. Now, I would not recommend doing this because it tends to cause some problems with things. But for the purpose of this video, I've altered the plan just a bit. Pray I don't alter it further. So, we have our Star Wars Galaxies restoration folder. The Star Wars Galaxies installed in it, and it's all happy and good. And we should not, per their instructions, run any of the files in this base install directory. I completely agree with that point. It's pointless, and it actually does nothing but usually cause you problems. So you don't want to do that. The next step you need to do is you need to go to uh, Star Wars SWGEMU.com, and you need to download the Star Wars Galaxies emulator client. It's easy enough. I don't need to cover that. I've already got a video on how to install the basic emulator. And that's basically what we're trying to accomplish to get to this point where I am right now. Is we are with Star Wars Galaxies with the Star Wars Galaxies emulator client installed. And basically that gives us access to the basic game with the SWG emulator stuff from SWGEMU installed in the directory. At that point, you should let it run Launchpad for Star Wars Galaxies. Now there is a link in the install instructions to something called launchpad2.net uh, setup.exe. You don't click that link. Uh, it's not a valid link. It's not anything you need. It basically just causes you problems. But if you follow the instructions on this SWGEMU website up to this point, you will get this amount of data in your directory where you have patch files and the TREs and configuration files and whatnot. These are the things you need. So follow the directions on SWGEMU or follow my video where I installed the basic client. Basically, you just install Star Wars Galaxies. You install the SWGEMU client, you let it run, you point it at the directory where you've got it installed, and you tell it to patch your files when you get the error, and it will download anything that you're missing and fix all the files that need fixing. So then, we've got the SWG patcher from SWG restoration. So we take all these files, and we copy them into this directory. I've already done this because I wanted to review the process for myself just a bit. So files are copied in here. They're in our data directory. There's the guard bitmap file that that's there. Log in, and here is the S update SWG restoration icon. 
application. So after we've got Star Wars Galaxies installed from the three disks, we've got SWGEMU installed, so we can technically connect to Basilisk, which you can do as a test once you're done. So make sure you've gone this far with no problem. And then you're going to run update SWG restoration, which is going to further patch your files to make your game compatible with SWG restoration. Now, at this point, you lose the ability to connect to Basilisk with this client. So be mindful, you can do this in a separate installation by simply making a client that connects to Basilisk and then copying that to another folder like I did. If you look in my directory, I actually have several servers set up exactly the same way, but I dragged this one out so you could see it. This is what the process was that I, I did to install this. I installed Star Wars Galaxies, I installed SWG EMUs, Launchpad. I ran the Launchpad when it patched the files, and then I copied it to make a different emulator directory. Because I visit so many different uh, emulators on a regular basis, and some of them have plugins that are incompatible with other servers, or they have plugins that are incompatible with each other, and they download those for you, like the long view and all the other updated stuff and the upgraded frame rate and things like that. You may not want those. So you can have a basic installation of Star Wars Galaxies that's static that you never touch. And then you can copy that directory out and install any patches or anything like that for any of these emulators you want to visit into there usually. And then you can play from that because they usually have a different launcher to start the game. Now that we've got our Star Wars Galaxies copy, and we've copied these files in here, the next step is to run the SWGEMU application. Now, I'm going to do that for you, but I need to do something first. I need to turn off sound. So I'm going to mute my sound on everything except the microphone. So none of the game sound should show up. The problem with this is, is I cannot go in and do the game sound until I start the game. I'm sure I can, because I know how to edit the configuration files, but I'm not going to sit here while we dig through configuration files trying to find it. So I've got Star Wars Galaxies emulator installed from the three disks, SWG EMU, this launch pad installed and patched from uh, basically Basilisk, and then on top of that, I've got the files from here copied into this directory. And this is one of the things that frustrates me about developers that don't come out with their own launcher and just piggyback off of the SWG EMU launcher. Even if you reskin it, it's more cohesive, I think. But in this case, it works okay. So you don't really have to worry about it. And I don't have any complaints. But we're just going to launch the SWG EMU icon. And that's going to bring up the emulator. Now you'll notice if we launch that icon, we do not get the launch pad that we usually get with Basilisk. And that's why once you do this, you're going to lose the ability to connect to Basilisk because it's changed your server host. And here we are at the screen. And I've got to make sure there's no music playing, otherwise I'll have to redo the voiceover. I can't log in because unfortunately on SWG Restoration, you make your account on the server and for the life of me, I can't remember what my password is right now and it will not let me do it. And I don't want to go against the forum rules and create another account, but you should just be able to type in whatever you want and create a new account, if I recall. And that was what I read. So that should help you out to get to this point. And once you get past here, if you still need help, Go ahead and ask, but you're probably more apt to get assistance with account information on the Discord that they ask you to sign up for. And I'm not going to sign up for the Discord because I'm not getting on another Discord just to show how to install a game. And I really don't play on Restoration that often. Uh, as you can tell, I don't remember what my password is. So anyway, I'm going to quit this now because if I have to mute it, I've got to redo all this voiceover. So. To summarize, we have a folder with Star Wars Galaxies from the three disks installed. We have 
go on to SWGEMU and follow their directions to install their launcher. And then, if you did what I did, you made a backup of that folder by doing a copy and a paste in the same folder, and then you copied this into that folder. And you're done. That's all there is to it. Oh, sorry, you have to run update SWG restoration, and it does take a little bit of time because it does have to download all the patches for their system. But after that, all you have to do is run SWG EMU. And honestly, I hope some of this will help some of you guys out. This was a really good server that we visited. I was really happy to spend some time on it. Uh, I did a, a pretty nice video on showing what they were all about. Uh, I, I don't think I had any complaints. It was a good server. I, I see good reviews on them on Reddit and good reviews on them on other forums. So it's well worth your time if you can get in here and create an account. But if I can't test the account login because I'm not going to activate, I'm not going to put somebody through the aggravation of activating my account just so I can log in and log back out again. Uh, seems kind of selfish. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say, join the Discord if you have a problem because the admins hang out in the Discord and they'll get you hooked up if they need to. Uh, but that will get you to the point where you're in the game and you're ready to go. This helped you out. Let me know. Send me a thanks. I always like to know when I'm doing the right thing, showing you guys what to do. If you have any questions or I missed something or you want to see something in more detail, let me know. I may already have a video about it. I have a lot of videos, so some of them tend to get lost. But since I had a request to do this one, I went ahead and put it through and got it done. I uh, apologize for the sound of my voice. I've had a terrible cold this week, and unfortunately, uh, for some people, I've been kind of a bad mood so i've been taking things kind of personally and i apologize for that but uh, last night i took a bunch of cold medicine and went to sleep right as soon as i got home from work and didn't wake up until this morning i feel much better now but my voice is still a little bit off uh, but that's it for now i hope you guys get a good experience on the server as much as i did and it helps you get attached to some of the other servers that actually have some alternative Jedi and other means going on. Some good development seems to be going on here. They have a lot of things, very ambitious projects that you can get into. Um, until Publish 9 comes out, the Star Wars Galaxies content I really feel kind of dull doing it. I tried to do a couple episodes, but we've already done everything that we can think to do. If there's something you rather I do or something you want to see, by all means let me know. I'd be happy to do it. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this and get this up so that the person that requested it can check it out. Until later, I'll see you guys.